money inside. However, one of these envelopes contains double the amount that is in the other envelope. And we're going to play a little game. I want you in a moment to pick an envelope. And after you've picked it, I'm going to ask you a very important question. So let's say you go for envelope A. Now, before you get very eager and look inside to see how much you have, I'm going to offer you the opportunity to switch to envelope B. But should you do it? No, absolutely not. It makes no mathematical, logical sense to switch. You are equally likely 50-50% chance of getting the higher value of money. Both envelopes are independent. Yes, one's called A, one's named B, but they are completely identical. Other than that, you have no way of knowing what's inside, only I do. Although it may seem like it's a 50-50 chance for you to get the higher value by switching or not, uh, there are actually mathematical proofs that show you are more likely to win the higher value by switching to envelope B. But then, if you were to switch to envelope B and I gave you the option again to switch back, again, you're, you're more likely to get more money by switching back again. And, and this can be repeated by switching and switching and switching and switching, meaning you will just instantly win more and more money each time. And that is where we get this mathematical paradox called the do envelope paradox. So, should you switch? Should you not? We're going to discuss it in tonight's video. And oh, for those who are wondering, inside envelope A, you would have got ten dollars. But should you have switched? Was the big question. I'll let you find out. You should have switched. So, let's take a look at these two envelopes again on my little whiteboard. I hope you guys like it. Apologies, you can see my camera here. But anyways, we have our envelopes. Envelope A and envelope B. Now, when we do this process of you picking an envelope, this is an event that is taking place. You could have picked A, you could have picked B. The likelihood of you winning more money is 50-50 if you don't switch and 50-50 if you do switch. It doesn't make a difference. Well, let's take a look at this sort of paradoxical situation that comes into play. And I want to start introduce you to this by bringing in a factor called expected value. Now, what is expected value, you may ask? Well, expected value is, a, is an area it is a mathematical value in probability theory, so it involves a little bit of probability and statistics. And as it may say in its name, it is essentially a generalization of the weighted average. So in our case, uh, the expected value of what is in A is the average of all the money in general. Now doing this, we have a little bit of a formula that we can make. And this formula is denoted by EX, which simply means the expected value of X, where X is the value that we're getting, the probability. Now, it is given by, of course, the weighted average. So to get the average of something, we take um, the, the probability that it could be the first value, which in our case is 10, or it could be the probability that it's uh, 20. So what is the value? Well, the value is x1. For the first one, we have 2, we have 10, and we have 20, x1 and 
x2 and the probability is what we multiply it by and then we add again the probability of the second event so we have x2 which in our case is 20 times the probability that you get 20 in this case and we do this for you know if we had loads of envelopes we do it for all the envelopes until we get to the last envelope x sub n and the probability of that so again let's say you select envelope a what is the expected value that when you open that up you're going to win well we have it could be ten dollars so ten and the probability of you winning ten is well it's a half right and we add because we're doing the average the expected value of you winning 20 so 20 times a half and there's no more envelopes so we stop there but what is that equal well a half of 10 is 5 a half of 20 is 10 so the expected value of the amount of money in a before you've even picked it is 15 but that doesn't make any mathematical sense there's no 15 dollars included at all you can't pick this up and win 15 you could win 10 which of course would not be very good but you could win 20 which would be very good but where this gets even more confusing is the expected value of b is also 15 dollars which gives us a total of $30, which makes sense because that's how much we have in total. So where is this 15 coming from? Why is this expected value not making sense? Let's show you why. Let's pretend we're on the argument side that expected value makes sense and you should switch. Well, let's suppose in envelope A, Instead of there being 10, there is X dollars in envelope B. How much is in there? Well, there's either going to be, uh, let's take a look, it's either going to be twice as much, so you could win 2X in dollars, or you could get a half of x correct so let's take a look at the expected value of you switching this time let's just get rid of this for a second so switching to envelope b let's take a look expected value the expected value is going to equal well it's either going to equal a half times the probability it could be the, the probability is a half times 2x so the expected value let's take a look so what is our x sub 1 the first value we could get 2x and what's the probability? Well, there's two possibilities, so it's got to be, sorry, that should be a multiply by a half. And the second probability, or the second event, is that we could get a half x. So let's write this as a half x, just to not get confusing, because we are going to multiply that by a half. So simplifying this a half times 2x is just x and then a half x times a half x it's just 1 over 4 x add these together the expected value will give us well we can write x as 4 over 4 so we'll have 4 over 4 x plus 5 over 4 we'll have uh, 1 over 4 
four, sorry, we'll have five over four x as our expected value. So, the expected value when we switch to b is that we get five fourths of x, which is the amount that was in So things are starting to get very confusing now. We will win more money. This value here is greater than x, which is the amount that we said is in a. However, if we just do this switching process again, you can see you're actually going to have more because now we're saying that this is the amount that is in b. So if we do this process again, we would say that in envelope A, there is now going to be either, well, that's how much is in B, in envelope A, there's now either going to be a half of 5 over 4x, or there's going to be 2 times 5 over 4 x. Let's see what that expected value is, just for fun. So, expected value, we have a half times, <laughs> a half times 5 over 4 x plus a half times 2 times 5 over 4 x and then when we do this through a half times this is 5 over 8 x times a half is 5 over 16 x plus um, 2 here we're gonna have 10 over 4 times a half is 10 over 8 x which gives us, well, this here again, we can just write as 20 over 16. We'll have 25 over 16x, <laughs> which is greater than 5 over 4x. So what on earth is going on here? Now, I'm going to come up with a sort of counter solution to this expected value problem that shows that switching will always yield you more money and say no it doesn't and what this maths is doing is wrong i'm going to prove maths wrong because you see let's not look at this in an algebraic sense with x's and half x and 2x because what we're saying is when we switch to envelope b we are either going to win a half x or 2x but let's look at this in terms of money real numerical values let's suppose our envelope a has 10 dollars which it clearly does that says that envelope b either has a half of this, which is five dollars, or it has two times that, which is ten. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It is twenty. Now, if I said to you, this game only involves ten or twenty, you can see right here. This is where the problem is. We can never win a $5 note. It's simply not possible because I've not got one involved. Now let's take a look at this again. But in the sense where, let's suppose our first envelope had 20. We are either going to get a half of 20, which is $10, or we're going to get 2 times 20, which is $40. But again, I have told you that this
this involves a 20 and a 10. And then you can see the issue again here. There is never going to be $40 involved. So how do we come about this proper solution then? Well, the way to do this is to look at all the different cases that could happen. For example, the case that we pick 20 and the case that we pick 10 and we do or don't switch. So let's try and do that. Now, this problem is kind of starting to remind me of another one that I've explained on the channel before. And that problem is the Monty Hall problem, which is a very fun problem to do with uh, probability and winning prizes as well, kind of similar to this. I highly recommend you check that one out. It's actually one of my most viewed videos on the channel. And one thing I touch on in that video is what is called a probability tree. Now, probability trees are great ways to show the different scenarios and cases or events in our case that could happen. So again, we have our two envelopes. We have envelope A and we have envelope B. Now, for the purposes of this explanation, let's suppose that the lesser value, so the smaller value, we're just going to call X dollars and the greater value we're going to call, well, because it's greater, in our case it's double the amount, it's, sorry, 2x, I'm so used to it being 20. We're going to remove the dollar signs as well, just to keep this a bit more easier to understand. Now, when you make your initial selection, you are either going to pick x, or you are going to pick Correct. Let's start with you picked X in envelope A. Now, if you switch, I'm going to put this as S. If you switch, you could win or you will win 2X. But if you don't switch, I'll put DS, you will just remain with what you picked, which is X. So obviously, switching will be better. But now let's take a look at the scenario where you started by picking the greater amount, 2x. Switching will win you x, or in this case it's actually lost you money. But not switching, or don't switch, <laughs> will keep 2x for you. So I hope that all makes sense. So in each scenario here, we're going to take a look at the amount of money that you gain, because obviously in this little game, you are trying to gain as much money as possible. So, in this first scenario, you won 2x, but you started with x. So, the amount you won was simply x. In the second scenario, we started with x, but, or we won x, but we started with x, so we gained 0. When we picked 2x, but we ended up with x, we started off with 2x, so our gain in this scenario, well, we lost x. And in the last scenario, we started with 2x but we won 2x, so our gain is going to as well be 0. Now, let's take a look at the sum across all of these. The sum. So, we have x plus 0 plus minus x, and then plus 0. Well, that just gives us 0. So, 
our total gain is going to be zero, which means that there is no gain in switching. You don't actually earn any money or have any better value when switching to the other envelope. So this takes us back to our notion on expected value, where we look at the two cases that could actually happen when switching the expected value should actually be the probability that when you pick your envelope and switch that you win the higher amount. So it's the probability that in your first envelope, we're going to call it A because we've been doing that in every single one, that you switch and gain the higher amount. Let's put $2 times the amount that you win. So the higher amount plus the probability that when you pick your first envelope and switch that you win the lower amount Let's give it a single dollar sign times the amount that you win. So, taking a look at that in our case, let's take a look at it with, uh, let's do it with X again. So the probability that you switch and win the higher amount is a half times the amount which is 2X, because A has X in it, plus probability that you switch and win the lower amount times the amount that's in that, which is x. This gives us a half times 2x, which is x, plus a half x, which gives us 3 over 2x, or 1.5x, which is actually in between x and 2x, which makes more sense, saying that there is the average amount between them. Now taking this back to what we said at the start of this video, using this formula we've made, we have 1.5x and our value x, which is in envelope A, was $10. So we have 1.5 times 10, which is indeed 15, which is exactly what we said at the start of this video, is the expected value. So, should you switch? Should you not switch? It really doesn't make a difference. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for this mathematical, paradoxical video on the two-envelope paradox. I guess not so much a paradox anymore now that we have debunked it, but I really hope that you all did enjoy it and enjoyed this slightly different ASMR maths video than usual. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate it if you considered giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to help support the channel and keep in the loop of when I upload, why not consider subscribing for more relaxing maths videos. But other than that, thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.